What is going on you guys? Welcome to a Shining Resonance Refrain video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can get infinite attacks with Marion. Now, in order to do this, you need some really good, uh, I, I would say they're late game aspects. But, so the ones you need are smart action, chance of AP not being consumed, higher luck increases the chance, Merchant power, the p more money, the higher the luck. So I have 1 million gold. So that means her luck is at max. It's capped out, 99999. So that means that she will never consume any action points when she attacks. Now, as far as the music score that we have, we have the cannon typha. Decreases AP usage of attacks. Rapid fire for long for as long as there is action points. Now the you can get this one. It's a uh, post game. Once you beat the game, I believe it is the boss. It's like a it's like a secret boss. Once you've uh, beaten the game, you can head back to the areas where you fought previous bosses, and there will be a different boss that you can defeat, and it'll give you different scores for different characters. I forget which one gives the cannon typha. If I remember, actually, you know, I'm not even going to try and remember it because I don't want to give you the wrong one. But I do know that it's post-game and you have to beat a boss in order to get this. So, let's go ahead and just show this off for a bit. How's it going? Welcome. Take it back. Take it back. This one. Have a nice day. What do you need? Which one? As you see, it is level. It is a level 200 dungeon. So this this dragon is at level 200. Very nice, just melted through it. Obviously, we took some damage. Probably could have avoided that, but you, you see the uh, you see the result of this. Now, I guess if you do, once you do beat the game, you can go ahead and head over. I want to say that it's the boss where you fought in the um, in the ice area, like the actual ice cave. Let's see. Welcome back. I want to say it's over here, the Logos Tundra. I believe there is an Arc Demon that gives you the Cannon Typha. I want to say it's there, but don't quote me on this. This is just, it's been a while since I got it. So I, in order to level up the score, I don't think it's going to show me what I need to level up since, since it's already maxed out. But I think you need either Sky or Earth scores Hey there Welcome to the in mind Yeah, it's not going to let me But yeah, we get a 40% increase in attack, 19% increase in magic, and then 48% in I believe that's resonance Come back or healing. Maybe it's healing. I don't know. But yeah, uh, that's that's pretty much the build there. Oh, okay, hold on. I guess I'll show you where to get the merchant power. There is a little girl in the city to the right of the town that she asks you to take out three minotaurs and she gives you the merchant power. Okay, well she doesn't she doesn't get we don't have the option of getting her quest, but 
It's this little girl that gives you the task of taking down three minotaurs and you'll be able to get the merchant power. Let's see, do I already have it? I do not have it, okay. But you can, I believe you can do it as many times as you want because I've got three merchant powers already. You don't really need three, but you, I just happen to have three because I did the quest three times. I'm not sure if you do it more times, you'll get like a different reward, but I've done it three times and the reward has not changed. Oh, hi. Welcome to the pack. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. We'll go ahead and try it out on the other ones. What do you need? Which one? Be careful. I probably should have healed. And just like that, Trishula is down. I mean, it's the same thing, you know, you just, if, as long as you have infinite AP, you can pretty much just spam this attack. And along with the rapid fire, it's the best. Good work today. Now, she's not the best character in the game, but this is a pretty good setup for her. Please, be careful. As you can see, it just melts down the enemy's health. So if you want this post game, you could probably get it. I'll go ahead and check what you need to make the smart strike because that's the most important one. So the key, to the, the key to this setup is having the Cannon Typha for the Rapid Fire and the Smart Strike and the Merchant Power. The, well, you can't create a Merchant Power. I believe you can't create it. You can only get it from the little lady that gives you the quest. Thank you. How are you? So we'll go ahead and check. Hey! Welcome! What are we making? Or smart action, here we go. So a goblin mask, poison liver, and a hound tail. Now I don't there are certain, I guess, levels of um, alchemy that you need to unlock. The once you once he asks you to make the philosopher's stone, that's when you know that you're at the max alchemy. I don't know which alchemy it is needed in order to make the smart action, but so long as you just take quest from him and do the quest, you'll be able to unlock more alchemy recipes. We'll go ahead and just finish off the uh, Thunder Dragon. What do you need? Which one? Please, be careful. This guy is the most annoying in my opinion. He gives the most hassle to fight.
very nice you get the idea so yeah you guys that was pretty much it um, for the video i could have just left it at the very first boss fight but you know 10 minutes up uh, mark <clears throat> Welcome back. Oh, hello? But yeah, again, the aspects are smart action, merchant power, and then dragon slayer, I have it just to get some extra damage output. You could do the, uh, what is it at? The hit bonus, higher combo, higher increase in damage dealt. But honestly, I didn't see a difference in this, so I didn't see like a significant increase in attack in order to justify using this. And then again, as for the score on her weapon, we have the Cannon Typha. Rapid fire for as long as there is AP. So yeah, that was it for the video, you guys. Appreciate you checking it out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.